Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk iframes. Huh? What are iframes? Do I need iframes for my bifocals? I don't know. No, I'm talking about iframe applications for Facebook. And what does that do for you? Basically, what it does for you is it helps you create a fancy little welcome page to tell people to click the like and tell more people about you, what you're all about, and all that kind of stuff. And, and it looks nice and pretty. We want to pretty up your Facebook page, people. So there's lots of iframe apps out there. And for those of you who may have remembered, it used to, these welcome pages used to be created with the static HTML app, FBML app. Getting all confused. Static FBML app, and that's gone. So now it's iframes. People got all freaked out about it. Oh, how do I do it? Luckily, there's some apps to make it really easy because you, you can do it one way where you have to go into the developers area and create a whole little application yourself and woo is that complicated huh that's not fun let's make it easy let's use an application that's handy and you can you know kind of put it up there in just a few minutes and I'll show you how I'm going to talk specifically about the wildfire app and you go, go there by going to iframes dot wildfire app dot com and take a look at the post there click on that and get to it and how easy is this it's got one big fat button here install this app and what you do is you click on it and then it takes you to a drop down menu in Facebook where you can put it on your page I'm not going to do that because I've already put it on the page I'm going to put it on but it's easy you just drop down click click the blue button to say install and then boom you got it on your page and you have to fill out a little form, just name, company name, email address. It's not a big deal. And then you'll see this here. And so I'm going to work on the pastrami page that I, I enjoy. I enjoy pastrami here. And all you do is you've got the option to have fan gating on or off. And that means the fan gate is that image you can see that says click like and you'll get something special and then you have the two things that they click like and boom you see something else so you can choose to use that if you want or you can turn it off and just have one image for anyone coming over to your page and you can have just a custom image or HTML where you're getting fancy you know you're putting in maybe an opt-in box and you're putting in some extra pictures or an embedded video or something real fancy if you know how to do some HTML programming you just click this and then put in your HTML code there and it's it how easy is that you know I'm gonna show you about the custom image all you have to do is have this custom image maximum 520 pixels and I'm gonna find it here and where is it it's my pastrami page here and don't copy my graphics because I'm no graphics designer here I just created this little graphic in just a minute and then don't violate the terms there and say save and preview and shabam you got your nice little custom welcome page right here and you can say hey click the like if you love pastrami you know I mean how how easy is that it's so simple and then you're going to want to set this as your default landing tab. So to do that, you first have to go to the wall to get to the edit page area. Click on this little edit page button here. And now you're taken right here to this manage permissions area. And you want the default landing tab to be that welcome, you know. And you can change the name of that tab in, in the apps area there too. So you just click Save Changes, and now, boom, anyone who comes to the page is going to see my nice little handy welcome page. Let me just move my head here. The welcome page is over below here. It's right here, Welcome. And they're going to see this nice little, nice little page here. And, and boom, they're going to they're gonna love it. And we're going to talk pastrami, all right? So that's it. It's easy peasy, isn't it? You just need an image and just install this app. So hope that helped and talk to you next time.